In 2023, the city of Bozeman received $28 million in grants that now heading into the new year they hope to start using. It's the most grant money we've ever received in a single year in the city's history. The Bozeman Police Department received just under $20,000 to investigate child and human trafficking. The people, the personnel, and the technology to allow us to try to do better, more thorough investigations to make sure that child trafficking, when it does happen, we can identify the people who are um, committing those heinous crimes, investigate it, and hopefully throw them in prison. $1.6 million will be used to create a curbside composting program that the city expects to roll out in 2024. The new program we're going to have is a composting program, so people can actually get com curbside composting in the city for the first time ever. But the largest grant that the city received was more than $20 million for the improvement of Kegi Boulevard. Our proposed project will expand the capacity of Kegi Boulevard uh, by one lane uh, so that there is a consistent two lanes in each direction. Originally, the city was six to eight million dollars short for the Kegi project, but with the $24 million grant, they're now able to reallocate that money to other projects. Allow us to divert a lot of the Kegi funding to other projects of need in the city. Um, our commission has signaled that the College Avenue projects from 8th to 19th uh, would likely be next in line. The Bozeman Transportation Department received another $1.2 million to build bike paths and for the Safer Streets program that was created after the death of Bozeman High's Kelly Fulton, who was struck and killed while riding his bike to work. Through the Safe Streets for All grant program, uh, once we complete that pr uh, safety action plan, uh, that will make us eligible for additional capital funding that could be used. Kegi construction is expected to start around 2027 and city leaders are hoping to keep local drivers happy. To do our best to keep up and maintain the same quality of life people expect uh, when Bozeman was, uh, you know, a bit smaller. In Bozeman, Edgar Cidio, MTN News.